Large Talisker, please. And a sherry for Lady Brack. All right, let's get... Oh, hello. Carolyn, a flight deck visit. What a nice surprise. Really? Is it really such a surprise to see me on Burling Day? Perhaps not. Perhaps indeed not. Open your flight bag. If you insist. What's going on? It's a Burling Day tradition. A little contest Carolyn and I have, and that I win. <laughs> It's not a tradition or a contest. It is systematic theft. You see, Martin, Mr. Burling is partial to 25-year-old Talisker single malt whiskey. As am I. As is Douglas. The difference being, of course, that Mr. Burling is a paying and valued customer, whilst Douglas is merely a sneaky, thieving pilot. You drink his whiskey on the trip? No, of course not. I steal his whiskey on the trip and drink it later. Ah. Was that a travel suite? No. Hmm. My car does not make that noise. What are you doing to it? Nothing. You've done something to the car, haven't you? I can feel it. I really don't know what you mean. My car is not yellow. It has never been yellow. It is not going to start being yellow now. Change it back. But it's pretty. Yellow car. <laughs> What? Nothing. Just yellow car. Why did you say yellow car? There was a yellow car. <laughs> Why did you say yellow car? You've got to say yellow car when there's a yellow car. Why? That's how you play yellow car. You're not playing yellow car. <laughs> You're always playing yellow car. And how, though I fear I can guess, does one play yellow car? <laughs> right, well, imagine you're driving along. We are driving along. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so now you look at the cars as they come along in the other direction, and they're, they're all different colours. So, uh, for instance, now, uh, that one's white, that one's blue, that one's a sort of metally grey. And when you see a yellow car, you say, yellow car. How did you know? <laughs> a wild stab in the dark. <laughs> and then what? You start again. So how does it end, this game? Never ends. <laughs> That's very much what I feared. Mm. Nice girth. Shame. Polly, you don't have to destroy Job's children. Last time we met, you seemed pretty confident I couldn't destroy Job's goats. Yes, I was wrong. Technically, you can, but oh. then technically, I will. But look, Carolyn, you cannot penalize me for taking a rational command decision based on reasonable air safety concerns. Yes, I can. Well, technically, you can. Good, but then technically, I will. Now, please, go and be somewhere else. 